Well, what we're looking at here is a Hewlett Packard 8640B signal generator. This is one of the great ones. A very popular generator um, for a lot of good reasons. It's uh, highly stable, it's very pure, um, comes with a built-in frequency counter. The technology that was used on the inside is something remarkable. It, it's uh, to work with it. It was very much like something out of the uh, NASA space race, uh, with its conduited lines and uh, uh, clockwork style uh, uh, resonant chambers and so on. It's uh, it's an amazing piece of gear. The um, generator is capable of uh, putting out from 500 kilohertz up to 550 megahertz the way she stands right now uh, and it is capable of going up to a uh, thousand twenty four so you know, uh, one gigahertz with the appropriate um, expansion board but I don't have that in this unit um, it's taken a year of getting used to the unit and working on it, but we've got it functioning fully. Uh, as we can see here, here's a demonstration of the output, currently at 8 megahertz. I, at the moment, have this AM modulated, which we can, uh, we can adjust the amount of modulation. As you can see. And um, we can dial in a frequency and then phase lock it for stability. So like right now we're phase locked at 8 megahertz. We happen to be on the 8 megahertz range. Let's go ahead and take it off. Let's adjust ourselves forward. Very smooth frequency gearing. on this particular range. We should be seeing ourselves go up to about 16 megahertz. There's 14, 4, 5, 15. There's 16. And we add a little bit left over. We've reached 17.18. So, a little bit of overlap there. Let's put ourselves at uh, 16. here. Go ahead and lock ourselves when I get it. There we go. 16.0000 megahertz. As verified also by this Hewlett Packard 5345A, we see that we are 16 megahertz uh, basically the four decimal places, which is what this thing is saying. Our output voltage right now is uh, is running nearly, uh, oh, on the 0 to 10 scale, nearly 4 volts. It's telling us it's running 0 to 10 right now. Also dial in a percent of modulation and read it on the on the dial. Let's 
We are running 30% uh, modulation right now. That would be 20%. We'll go back to reading the voltage, which is nearly 4 volts. There's our output waveform at 16. Okay, uh, here's uh, an interesting thing we wanted to show you. Right now we're running at 27 megahertz, uh, and we're feeding the signal into an oscilloscope here. The oscilloscope is at 0.5 volts per centimeter. I've got two centimeters up and down, so I'm one volt up, one volt down, two volts peak to peak. If I uh, I have the uh, the attenuator right now set at a plus 20, if I dial it down, plus 10, zero. I have to change my scale here to show you the uh, signal again. Here's minus 10, minus 20. Minus 30, minus 40. I'm right now on my maximum um, uh, sensitivity uh, of my scope. That's five millivolts uh, per division. And right now, that's just about what we have on the signal. If I raise the signal and See if I can put her into a there we go. That's five millivolts peak to peak. And I can still take it down. But you notice how clean that signal is. That's really what I wanted to show you. No noise. Very clean. Yet I can still go lower and lower still. I have many more range settings of my attenuator. And uh, it's remarkably quiet. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, as I understand it from the manual, the uh, that characteristic of quietness and the uh, and the various um, uh, attenuator settings make this uh, unit quite usable for single sideband uh, alignment. Doesn't mean a lot to me. I've never never dealt in that range, but I'm just quoting from the manual. So there you have that. Thanks. So right now we are. Um, we are sending out an FM signal. We are modulated at 400 hertz. And uh, I can turn on my FM receiver here. And you can hear the tone. And as I change the frequency, you'll hear it go out, come back in. So FM-wise, we're sending out a signal just fine. Um, we can see that we had the AM modulation working fine. Uh, let's just take a look at the uh, the frequency on the uh, on the scope. We'll take the output directly to the scope. Right now I'm looking at 108 megahertz on a, on a 100 hertz, 100 megahertz scope, so we'll go ahead and, uh, and reduce ourselves in frequency. Let's We're reducing frequency with the, uh, the tuning knob right now. Let's go ahead and uh, change the range from 64 to 32, give ourselves a little more amplitude, okay, and again, 
changing the range. Let's go to 32 to 16 megahertz range. I'm increasing now. Four megahertz, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty one, thirty two, three, four. Take it to the eight megahertz range. We're at seventeen right now. Going down to eight. 14, 13, 12, 4 megahertz range, we're at 3.6 megahertz, I'm increasing. Here's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8.6. Okay, I've gone to the 8 megahertz range. We're at about 17.2 right now. And we're going to be decreasing frequency. Very clean waveform. megahertz, so on. And uh, rather like what was happening up here on the, uh, like right now I'm on the 16 megahertz range, so let's, uh, let's get ourselves up to 16. Alright, there's 16 megahertz. If I go to 8, there's 8, 4, 2, 1. All I have to do is change the dial. It's, uh, it's already dialed in to that same point on all of these ranges. There's 16, 32, just a slight bit off here at 32 fine-tune will clean it up. There we go. So she's uh, she's tuned in range-wise very well. Beautiful, beautiful uh, generator. Somebody's going to be lucky. It's in very clean condition. It's got a few surface scratches on the metal. It's a very heavy piece and it's been rack mounted and other pieces have been setting on it. So there are some scratches in the metal surface, but Generally, it's in marvelous shape. The, most of the noise you hear is from my counter. If I turn the counter off, just a little whisper jet of the fan in the back of this uh, 8640B. The counter can be used externally through this, uh, 
this particular connector you could use it to measure frequencies from somewhere else you have an AM external AM output or input connector same thing for the FM your modulation frequency is adjustable on this particular dial you can either pick fixed frequencies of 400 or 1 kilohertz or you can go on a variable range uh, um, actually this unit just does more than I can even explain So somebody, uh, hopefully, will be a very lucky person and uh, get themselves the unit that they've always wanted. Thank you for listening. Happy bidding. Oh, yes, I do have a manual. Let me... Well, along with the 8640 will come this operation and service manual. There's uh, got to be a couple of hundred pages to this particular document. I haven't counted them but uh, it's a very thick manual comprehensive covers performance testing um, calibration theory of operation specifications usage and then I've added um, in the uh, drawings 11 by 17s so it's somewhat easy to uh, to see. Exploded drawings, how to take things apart. Uh, there's circuitry. Measuring points. parts list, etc. About as comprehensive as I was able to find. And as you can see, circuit diagrams. So, uh, it's a very thorough book. You've got a lot of information here to make use of. Reference material if you ever have a problem or if you want to make adjustments or just understand what it is you have. And this book will come in mighty handy. Uh, that's included. Along with it, you'll find that inside the unit is the extension card that allows you to do calibrations, uh, extending cards uh, beyond the case. There's also a, um, a tool for uh, disconnecting the various uh, uh, conduits inside the, uh, the unit. Um, and there's a small box of uh, fuses uh, fastened to the top of a capacitor inside. So you'll have a complete kit of things that other, many other people would sell individually and, uh, and charge you to buy back. So. I'm including it all in the one price and uh, for your convenience. I'll even throw in the uh, the N to BNC connector in case you need to adapt for uh, BNC cables or you can use the N type cables if you have them. So that's about it. Uh, beautiful unit. Wish you luck. Thank you.